Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 10. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 10, produced by Marseille Asset. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. Good, everyone. Hello, Johnny. Welcome back from the holiday. Thank you, Sarah. How are you? Fine. We traveled to Baharda for a weekend. Is Baharda as populated as Addis Ababa? No, Baharda is not as populated as Addis Ababa. I was in Baharda. I traveled by air to get there. It is not on shores of Lake Tana. It is the largest and most attractive lake in the country. Did you visit Aksum? I'm told it's the largest and most attractive site in the country. Yes, I did. It is the center of the ancient city-state, the home of Queen of Sheba. I had a chance to fly to Lalibela, which is located in the highland. It has the best rock hewn churches. We should write down what each one of us saw. Sure. Students, listen to the dialogue one more time. Hello, John Lee. Welcome back from the holiday. Thank you, Sarah. How are you? Fine. We traveled to Baharda for a weekend. Is Baharda as populated as Addis Ababa? No, Baharda is not as populated as Addis Ababa. I was in Baharda. I traveled by air to get there. It is not on shores of Lake Tana. It is the largest and most attractive lake in the country. Did you visit Aksum? I'm told it's the largest and most attractive site in the country. Yes, I did. It is the center of the ancient city-state, the home of Queen of Sheba. I had a chance to fly to Lalibela, which is located in the highland. It has the best rock hewn churches. We should write down what each one of us saw. Sure. Students, ask Sarah. Say, is Bahardara as populated as at this Ababa? No. Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Again, students, ask Sarah. Say, is Bahardar as populated as Addis Ababa? No, Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Students, is Bahardar as populated as Addis Ababa? Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Again, students, is Bahardar as populated as Addis Ababa? Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Students, say, Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Again, students, say, Bahardar is not as populated as Addis Ababa. 
Bahadra is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Students, ask Jelani. Say, which lake in Ethiopia is the largest and most attractive? Lake Tana is the largest and most attractive lake in Ethiopia. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. <laughs>
Very good, everyone. Obangian Jalani. Now we'll practice rearranging jumbled words to make correct sentences. When I read you a set of jumbled words, you will tell me meaningful sentences out of the jumbled words. Students, you also listen. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Obang, listen. Addis Ababa as Aksum populated not as is. Aksum is not as populated as Addis Ababa. That's excellent, Obang. Students, you also try. Listen. Addis Ababa as Aksum populated not as is. Aksum is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Students, say. Aksum is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Aksum is not as populated as Addis Ababa. Jalani, listen. Konso artistic as Hammer is. Konso is as artistic as Hammer. Excellent, Jalani. Now, students, listen. Konso artistic as Hammer as is. Konsa is as artistic as Hammer. The students say Konsa is as artistic as Hammer. Konsa is as artistic as Hammer. Now, students, listen. Highland not the coast as is warm as there. The highland is not as warm as the coast. Students say. The highland is not as warm as the coast. The highland is not as warm as the coast. Students, listen. Important museums as our culture as. Museums are as important as culture. Students say museums are as important as culture. Museums are as important as culture. Now, students, listen. Good as Ethiopia as other country any is. Ethiopia is as good as any other country. Students, say Ethiopia is as good as any other country. Ethiopia is as good as any other country. Students, Listen. Windy yesterday as as is not today. Today is not as windy as yesterday. Again, students, say today is not as windy as yesterday. Today is not as windy as yesterday. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, please make the students be in pairs and have them do exercise 2, questions 7 to 10 of page 31 by rearranging the jumbled words to make meaningful sentences. After that, call a pair of students to come to the front at a time and let one of the students tell the correct sentence out of the jumbled words as the other reads the set of jumbled words. For example, one of the students may say, Windy yesterday, as, as, is not today. Then the second student says, Today is not as windy as yesterday. And so on. Please call as many pairs of students to the front as possible. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 10, produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification, this is not for broadcast. 
Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 7. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 7, produced by Marseille Asad. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. Bang, which is nearer to the border of Ethiopia, Gambela or Jimma? Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Students, ask Obang. Say, which is nearer to the border of Ethiopia, Gambela or Jimma? Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Again, students, ask Obang. Say, which is nearer to the border of Ethiopia, Gambela or Jimma? Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Students, which is nearer to the border of Ethiopia, Gambela or Jimma? Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Again, students, which is nearer to the border of Ethiopia? Gambela or Jimma? Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Students, say, Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Gambela is nearer to the border of Ethiopia than Jimma. Obang, did you visit Lake Tana? Yes, why do you ask me? Just to know that whether it is bigger or smaller than Lake Abaya. Sure, Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Students, ask Obang. Say, is Lake Tana smaller than Lake Abaya? Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Again, students, ask Obang. Say, is Lake Tana smaller than Lake Abaya? Lake Abaya smaller than Lake Tana. Students, is Lake Tana smaller than Lake Abaya? Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Again, students, is Lake Tana smaller than Lake Abaya? Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Students, say... Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Again, students, say, Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Lake Abaya is smaller than Lake Tana. Jalani, have you been to Duredawa? Yeah, I have an answer. I spent my vacation last year in Duredawa. 
How is the weather there? Is it warmer? Yeah, it is a bit warmer than here in Addis. Students, ask Jelani. Say, is the weather in Diradawa warmer than in Addis? The weather in Diradawa town is warmer than in Addis. Again, students, ask Jelani. Say, is the weather in Diradawa warmer than in Addis? The weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. Students, is the weather in Dredawa warmer than in Addis? The weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. Again, students, is the weather in Dredawa warmer than in Addis? The weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. Students, Say, the weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. The weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. Again, students, say, the weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. The weather in Dredawa town is warmer than in Addis. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students be in groups of four or five and let them do exercise one of page 24 by filling the blank spaces with the comparative form of the adjectives in the brackets. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now, let's sing the song. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? We are glad to have you here at school. 
Let's sing again. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? We are glad to have you here at school. Here at school. Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. Learn to read. Learn to write. In and out. In and out. Both at school and at home. Hello, everyone. Have a good day. That's very good, everyone. Jelani, it seems that you are thinking about something. I'm thinking about the longest river in Africa. Don't you know it? We have learned it in our geography lesson in grade five. I don't remember it. Can you tell me? The Nile is the longest river in Africa. Students, ask Oban. Say, what is the longest river in Africa? The Nile is the longest river in Africa. Again, students, ask Oban. Say, what is the longest river in Africa? The Nile is the longest river in Africa. Students, what is the longest river in Africa? The Nile is the longest river in Africa. Again, students, what is the longest river in Africa? The Nile is the longest river in Africa. Students, say, the Nile is the longest river in Africa. The Nile is the longest river in Africa. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, please call girl number one to come to the front. Girl number one, what is the most expensive mineral in the world? Again, girl number one, what is the most expensive mineral in the world? Girl number one, please respond. Say, gold is the most expensive mineral in the world. Girl number one, what is the highest mountain in Ethiopia? Girl number one, please respond. Say, Ras Dashan is the highest mountain in Ethiopia. Again, girl number one, say, Ras Dashan is the highest mountain in Ethiopia. Thank you, girl number one. Please go back to your seat. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, please have the students do exercise two of page 25 by completing the sentences with the superlative form of the adjectives in the brackets. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 2, Lesson 7. Produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification this is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 8.
Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 2, Lesson 8. Produced by Marseille Center. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. That's good, everyone. Jalani, who is taller, you or Obang? Obang is as tall as me. Is that right, Obang? Of course, she's right. Students, ask Jalani. Say, who is taller, you or Obang? Obang is as tall as me. Again, students, ask Jalani. Say, who is taller, you or Obang? Obang is as tall as me. Students, who is taller, Obang or Jalani? Obang is as tall as Jalani. Again, students, who is taller, Obang or Jalani? Obang is as tall as Jalani. Students, say, Obang is as tall as Jalani. Obang is as tall as Jalani. Again, students, say, Obang is as tall as Jalani. Obang is as tall as Jalani. Obang, who is heavier, you or Jalani? Jalani is not as heavy as me. I am 40 kilograms. She is 35 kilograms. Is that right, Jalani? Can't you see? I am thinner than him. I see. Students, ask Obang. Say, is Jalani as heavy as you? Jalani is not as heavy as me. Students, is Jalani as heavy as Obang? Jalani is not as heavy as me. Again, students, is Jalani as heavy as Obang? Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Students, say, again, students, is Jalani as heavy as Obang? Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Students, say, Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Again, students, say, Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Jalani is not as heavy as Obang. Jalani, what about your friend Sarah? Is she thin like you? No, she is not as thin as me. Students, ask Jalani. Say, is your friend Sarah as thin as you? No, she is not as thin as me. Again, students, ask Jalani. Say, 
Is your friend Sarah as thin as you? No, she is not as thin as me. Students, is Jelani as thin as her friend Sarah? Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. Again, students, is Jelani as thin as her friend Sarah? Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. Students, say, Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. Again, students, say, Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. Sarah is not as thin as Jelani. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students be in groups of four or five and let them compare classroom objects or their classmates using the as, as, or not as, as language pattern. Then, invite each group representative to come to the front one by one and let him or her read his or her sentences to the class. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song.
sing again. Let's practice about comparing places. Students, you also listen. Okay. Obang, how do you find Addis? Is it as hot as Gambella? Are you joking? Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. It's very hot in Gambella. Students, ask Obang. Say, is Addis Ababa as hot as Gambella? Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Again, students, ask Obang. Say, is Addis Ababa as hot as Gambella? Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Students, is Addis Ababa as hot as Gambella? Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Again, students, is Addis Ababa as hot as Gambella? Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Students, say, Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Again, students, say, Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Addis Ababa is not as hot as Gambella. Jalani, is Aksum as dry as Asab? Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Students, ask Jalani. Say, is Aksum as dry as Asab? Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Again, students, ask Jalani. Say, is Aksum as dry as Asab? Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Students, is Aksum as dry as Asab? Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Again, students, is Aksum as dry as Asab? Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Students, say, Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Again, students, say, Aksum is not as dry as Asab. Aksum is not as dry as Asab. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, Please have the students compare different places using the as, as, or, not, as, as language pattern. Have them use the adjectives under exercise 1 of page 25 of their textbooks. Do the activity for about 5 minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 8, produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification, this is not for broadcast.
Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 9. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 9, produced by Marseille Asafi. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north, hello, to the south, hello. From the east, hello, to the west. What places have you visited so far? Well, I have visited Lake Tana. What did you see then? We hired a boat and visited different islands and monasteries. Students, ask or bank. Say, which places have you visited? I have visited Lake Tana. Students, which places has Obang visited? He has visited Lake Tana. Students, say, he has visited Lake Tana. He has visited Lake Tana. Jelani, what about you? Which places have you visited? I have visited Lake Langano. What did you see there? I saw crocodiles. Students, ask Jelani, say, which place have you visited? I have visited Lake Langano. Uh, students, which place has Jelani visited? She has visited Lake Langano. Students, say, she has visited Lake Langano. She has visited Lake Langano. Again, students, say, she has visited Lake Langano. She has visited Lake Langano. Students, have you ever visited any place? If so, what did you see? Teacher, please encourage the students to respond. You have 20 seconds. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students be in groups of four or five and let them discuss which places they have visited and what they saw in those places. Next, invite volunteer group members to come to the front and present to the class turn by turn. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin.
Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? Both at school and at home. Hello, everyone. Have a good day. Have a good day. That's very good, everyone. <laughs> Obang and Jalani. Now we'll practice comprehending a passage. I'll ask you a question at a time, and you'll read a short passage and answer questions that follow. Students. You also listen. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students and let them open their textbooks on pages twenty-seven to twenty-eight. You have twenty seconds. Obang and Jelani, listen to this question. What is Africa Hall known for? Read the short paragraph about Addis Ababa and answer the question. You have thirty-five seconds. Time is up. Students, what is Africa Hall known for? Africa Hall is known for being the seat of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Again, students, what is Africa Hall known for? Africa Hall is known for being the seat of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Now, Obang and Jalani, how is the Awash National Park useful to the country? Read the short paragraph about Awash National Park and tell me the answer. You have thirty-five seconds. Time is up. Students, how is the Awash National Park useful to the country? Awash National Park is a habitat for species and wild animals like oryx, hartbeest, water kudu, lion, and gazelle. Again, students, how is the Awash National Park useful to the country? Awash National Park is a habitat for species and wild animals like oryx, hartbeest, water kudu, lion, and gazelle. Students, of what importance is Lake Tana? 
Read the short paragraph about Lake Tana and tell me the answer. You have 35 seconds. Time is up. Students, of what importance is Lake Tana? Lake Tana is the source of Blue Nile. It provides access to about 30 islands, which house many monasteries. Now, students, what beautiful landscape do you see as you go to Langano? Please read the short paragraph about Langano and tell me the answer. You have 35 seconds. Time's up. Students, what beautiful landscape do you see as you go to Langano? The sand beach and rift valley lakes like Lake Zewai. Again, students, what beautiful landscape do you see as you go to Langano? The sand beach and rift valley lakes like Lake Zewai. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, please have the students read the remaining short paragraphs about Ambo and Sodere and let them answer questions 5 to 6 of page 29 of their textbooks. Do the activity for about 5 minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 9, produced by Marseille Asafra.